Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to write regular expressions in TestNG XML file. Let me answer. So, I would like to take one example to show you how we can write or specify the regular expressions in TestNG XML file. So, we'll switch to this uh, Eclipse IDE where we have this uh, sample project. And here we have the testng.xml file. In the testng.xml file, there are three classes mentioned, all these three classes containing individual tests. For example, class one is having three tests. Class two is having two tests. Class three is having two tests. Okay, if I open and see, show you. Class one has three tests. You see this uh, test one, test two, test three inside the class one. Similarly, class two has two tests. Okay, class two here has two tests and uh, class three has two tests. So in the class one, we have three tests and the remaining classes, two, two tests are there. But all these classes are mentioned. That means seven out of seven tests should run. But what I would like to do here is, uh, I'll just write down like this, okay? Slash class, okay? The class is starting here, ending here. And inside this, I'll write include, include, on, uh, include only one thing, okay? One, only one, one test method you have to run. So that is name is equal to here inside this name, you can write the regular expression. Okay. Inside this name, you can write the regular expression. So class slash class include. Okay. Uh, let's write it down. That is a, that is a regular expression. I'll go to the class one and I'll write down the regular expression here. So it should contain test one. Okay. Should contain uh one c1 or something like this okay this part should be there one test o should be there copy this come back here and here write down a regular expression you are not writing the entire name you are writing a uh kind of uh, you know regular expression here here dot means z uh, dot means one one letter or one character or one symbol whatever it may be it, it need to be repeated zero or any number of times. It can be this particular thing can be zero or any number of times, zero or any number of times. In middle, some text is there, okay? This kind of regular expression you can write. So why this is giving an error? Okay, so classes, class, class one. Okay, so here we have to specify one thing, right? Inside the class, we have to specify methods. Inside the methods, we have to specify this include. That's the reason we are getting that error. Like this, this is the correct format. Now error is gone. But here we have used a regular expression here. So only one test uh, will match this. One test O is there only in this particular. You see, one test is only there here. It's not there here. So this test is not going to run. This test is also not going to run. Okay. Wherever this one test one is matching, before some text can be there. After, after one test one, some text can be there. Okay. That's what is done with the help of regular expression. Instead of providing the exact method, um, test method name here, we have used a regular expression to match a particular test method. And whatever the test method name, which is matching with this regular expression, right? That test method is going to run. The remaining all test methods in the class one are not going to run. So here only one test method from the class one is going to run. From the other two uh, other two classes, two, two test methods. So the five test should run. Run it. Total five test should run. You see, total five got run. So C1 test one got run because this regular expression is matching this part, okay? So hope you guys understood how to write the regular expressions. I gave you one example. I can give you multiple examples of different situations in the testing XML file of how to use the regular expression. But uh, this one will be enough for you to answer in the interviews, okay? How to write a regular expression in testing XML file. If you can give this example, right? That will be more than enough in the interviews. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.